Hello everyone. Today we will be doing two things. We will be looking at Hyper-V on Windows 11 and how to install Windows 11 and Ubuntu for free on your Windows 11 desktop computer. And I'll be doing this while mostly drinking Red Dragon Yunnan tea. I'll link something up to that later on. So. In Windows 11, we have the ability, even with our home editions of Windows 11, to run Microsoft Hyper-V um, on that computer. And that has been around for quite a long time now. But with the advantages of Windows 11, Microsoft have allowed us to download images for both 11 and for Ubuntu very, very quickly and easily in very small wizards to allow us to run our own virtual machines directly on our systems without any technical knowledge at all. This is great for a development environment. It's great for playing with Linux in a safe environment without having to reformat a computer. And it's great as a sandbox environment for you to test code or for you to test things you find online where you might be worried about running them on your main computer. So let's get into it and have a look at actually installing Hyper-V on Windows 11 and running our own brand new virtual machines on our home computers. So let's start here with searching for Hyper-V on our computers. First of all, we need to actually turn this Windows feature on inside Windows 11. If you just search for Hyper-V, you will find you have turn Windows features on and off and Hyper-V itself. You need to make sure that you're actually installing Hyper-V and the management tools available to you. Otherwise, you won't be able to have any GUI access to that virtual machine. So as we work through uh, to actually install these Windows features, we need to do a quick reboot of our machine. And now we're back after a reboot. We're going to look for Hyper-V Manager and we have an MMC console for Hyper-V. In this MMC console, we have the ability to create brand new virtual machines. There's a number of options here that we don't particularly need to go through at the moment. We can use this new magic button called Quick Create. And here in Quick Create, we have the ability to select different versions of Ubuntu and also a couple of different versions of Windows 10 or Windows 11 as development environments. Here within these development environments, we're going to leave the options to connect to a default switch so that this Windows 11 development environment can connect directly to the internet. This is now going to pull directly down from Microsoft. We're going to fast forward that. And once it's downloaded, it will extract that disk image archive and attempt to actually install this operating system. In reality, this process will actually take probably 20 minutes to an hour, depending on your connection. If you have a look at the edit settings, we can see that we have now a virtual machine created. By default, we've got four gigs worth of RAM. Um, and if we go to processor, we've actually got three virtual processors by default. We can adjust this if we want more performance on our computers, that's not a problem. But you've got to have the underlying hardware available. If we hit connect, we'll bounce up into an, a new window here and start that virtual machine. We have not done any configuration here on this 11 development environment. We have just literally clicked Quick Create. Microsoft have even given us the image. We didn't have to think about anything and we just hit run. We're going to fast forward this piece because it takes a few minutes to do its initial boot. And once it's initially booted in, um, it will log you in as user and you have a full copy of Windows 11 to use inside a virtual machine on your Windows 11 computer. We have your computer inside your computer. And you can see this if we connect to the internet here with Edge. He's connected directly to the internet via that default Hyper-V switch. And this is using Microsoft Hyper-V on your machine to do so. We don't need to install anything from VirtualBox. We don't need to install anything from VMware. This is nicely connected to the internet and everything is working very well and highly performant. Now, you may not want to use Windows 11, so we can shut that one down. We can actually go off and install other operating systems here as well. These are virtual machines. We could install anything we wanted. But again, inside Quick Create, what we also have is the ability to go and grab Ubuntu directly from Microsoft. 
So if we grab an Ubuntu 2022 04 LTS, long-term servicing version, and run through the same process to create that virtual machine, you can see the Ubuntu image is actually a lot smaller than the Windows 11 image, but it still runs through the same process of downloading the image, extracting the image from the archive, and starting up a virtual machine for us without any configuration. We'll see that it still selected the same specification here, of 4GB worth of RAM, and three virtual processors attached to that machine. Again, you can adjust this if you have the underlying hardware to do so. If we connect to that machine now for Ubuntu 2020, uh, Ubuntu 2204 LTS, we can boot that up and start it up and wait for Ubuntu to actually launch. As you can see, this would take us through the setup procedure for Ubuntu, the LTS version. And once this is complete, we can go and set up our users and we can go and set up any applications that we want on Ubuntu, and we can continue to use this full version of Linux directly on top of Windows 11. Remember, Microsoft loves Linux now. And if we see, we just have to switch our keyboard layouts here. I'm going to switch mine to UK because it was set to US by default, and I have a UK keyboard here. And as you click continue, you can set up a couple of different options just to give a name. There's a couple more options than setting up Windows 11. And once that's running, you will be able to see that the Ubuntu setup procedure starts. And that concludes And that concludes setting up Hyper-V on your own local computer and installing Windows 11 as a virtual machine and Ubuntu as a virtual machine on your own home systems. Remember, hashtag like and subscribe. You know the routine. I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing you next time.